Hey everyone, in this tutorial, we're going to cover how to use postcards templates in MailWiz. MailWiz is an email sending app and postcards is a email template creation app. So we're going to create a template in postcards and uh, integrate it with MailWiz. This tutorial assumes that you've already set up MailWiz and that you're using it. So let's get started. I'm going to press create new in the email templates page, and that will take me to the create email template uh, interface. And the reason I came here first is because you have to take a look at the available tags. So what these tags are, are representations of the value of each tag. So if your company's full address is 123 Fake Street, and you add this tag in your email template. When the email gets sent, the tag gets replaced with your address, which is 123 Fake Street. And MailWiz has a lot of available tags, but there are two that are required. The first one is the company full address tag. And the second one is the unsubscribe URL tag. So we're going to be using both of these in this tutorial. So next up, we're going to add these tags to the postcards template. All right, so in the postcards app, I've already created a little template right here. And what I want to do is update the footer section and replace the contact us text with the tag. And I'm going to replace the link which is an email with the unsubscribe tag. So I'm going to copy the company full address tag and click the footer, which will open up a new menu. And in column number two, you can see that there is a text contact us. And down below, there is the value or the address, which is right here. And if I replace it with the tag it'll look like this like that and we'll update in the menu right or the interface right here and next up i want to add the unsubscribe url tag so i'm going to copy this go back to the app and i'm going to scroll all the way to the bottom and in this text section i'm going to replace the email with unsubscribe and replace the URL with the unsubscribe URL tag. And now we are done making changes to this template. I'm going to press done. And now I can export it. So I'm going to press the export button in the top right corner. And I'm going to download as zip. Press download zip. And I'm going to save it to my desktop going to open this up just like that and I have a folder right here and I can extract these files to my folder and if I open up index.html you should see your template that you just created and now we can work on adding the files to this template right here. All right, so if I right click my index.html file, I'll be able to edit with Notepad++. And what this will do is allow me to see the code that was generated by the template. You don't have to know about everything that's going on. You just have to be able to copy and paste this code into the editor. So in this editor, I'm just going to name it real quick, test template. And here is just some text. We don't want to add text. We want to press the source button right here. What that will do is open up a code editor and I'm going to replace the default code with everything you see in the 
index.html file. So I'm going to press Control A to highlight everything. And then I press Control C to copy everything. And back in here, I'm going to press Control A to highlight everything. And then Control V to paste everything. So now we can save our changes and see what we have so far. Let us see the preview. And as you can see, here is the template that we just created. This is what the HTML code uh, generates. But you can tell that there are the images that are missing. So to add images in this uh, template, we have to press this image button right here. What that will do is open up a new window where you can upload your images. So to do that, you press browse server right here. And what this will do is open up the file manager uh, by MailWiz. And I've already gone through this, but I'll just delete everything right here. And then I'm going to open up my MailWiz fo folder, open up the images folder and just highlight everything and drag it into here. That will open up or upload all the images from the folder into MailWiz. And now we can access these images in our template. To do that, we have to update the code. So I'm just going to minimize this real quick and exit out of here and go back to the source code. So let's just take a look at the first image, which is which is button-app-store-dark.png. And so we want to add the mail with mail with image into the code and not the file image. So to do that, we go back to the editor, we press control F to activate the search menu. And I'm going to search for the image, which was called button-app-store. So button-app-store-dark, press enter. And as you can see, it has highlighted the image and the source. So what I have to do to change the source is right click the image, press get info, and then it will open up a new window with uh, information about the image. But what we care about is the link right here, which is the link to the image. Um, so right click this link text and press copy link address. This will put um, the URL in your clipboard. And now I can go back to the code and replace the source text with our uh, uploaded image. And if I press save, you'll see that the image was uploaded. So let's go through this two more times. Um, I already have my file manager open. So the next image will be button-google-play-dark. So I'm going to press get info, right click the link, press copy link address, go back to the source code, search for button-google-play-dark, button-google-play-dark. And here it is. I'm going to highlight the source text and paste in the new URL press save. And there we go, a new image. One more time. This time I'm going to use the background image. So I, I right clicked this header seven image right here. I'm going to press get info and right click the link, press copy link address. Uh, search for header-7 and 
And let's see, yep, header dash seven dash image dash two. And as you can see, there are three different places where the header was defined. So we have to update it three times. Here's the first one. And the second one is here. And the third one is here. Replaced all of them. Going to save changes. And now we have our background image available. At this point, uh, your template would be ready to go. If you have, if you finished uploading all your images, I think you get the point of how to do it. So I won't be covering how to upload every single image or update every single image. And now you can go to your campaigns tab and use the template that you just created. So I just want to preview this. And there you go. This is the email template that you just created. So what we went over is how to add the mail with tags to postcards, how to download and extract the postcards file, how to create a new template, edit the source code and add the source code to MailWiz, upload images and update the source of the image. Hope you found this helpful and until next time, see you guys later.